Welcome to Island Hopper TV. Today we are going to take a look at the top things to do when you visit New York City. We're going to go all across the five boroughs and try and show you everything we can that is worth trying to do when you visit this American metropolis. What's going on Island Hoppers? Today we are coming to you from New York City. We're going to do a things to do and yes that's going to include some free activities. Let's do it. First one on the list right here is the top of the rock. This is Rockefeller Center. You go down to the basement down here, just across the way from Radio City Music Hall, buy the tickets, hop in the elevator, and within a minute and 20 seconds, you'll be right there at the top of the rock. They do have two different levels that you can check out. All of Manhattan, all the way towards the Hudson, and all the way across towards Brooklyn, the Bronx, whatever you want to see. This is the premier viewpoint in all of New York City and Manhattan. It's $38 for adults and $32 for children. If you're a senior, $36. Oh, and people want to know, is there bathrooms up there? Good news is yes. Next up on the list is going to be the Statue of Liberty. Now what would a trip to New York City be without visiting this iconic American landmark right next to Ellis Island where they used to bring the immigrants in, process them through this area of New York City. It's actually right next to Staten Island. They have a museum here and an area you can walk around to get plenty of photographs with Lady Liberty here. Tickets to go out to the Statue of Liberty on one of the boats is going to cost you around $30 per adult and it's $19 for children, $25 for seniors. So I hope you guys get out there and really uh, get some good pictures and good history of America. Next up on the list, Times Square. We call it Time because it's after the New York Times. So Times Square here is actually a free area you can walk around. There's no charge, no cost. And this is really one of the premier areas in all of New York City and America for people to come check out, visit, take pictures, and see all of the energy and the lights down here on Times Square. Times Square you'd want to see at night and in the daytime. It takes on two different types of vibes, especially when you see it at night with all the lights. One of the most famous things you will do during New Year's Eve anywhere in the world is watch the ball drop from Times Square. And what would a trip to New York City be without exploring Central Park, one of the largest urban parks in the world, right there on the upper Manhattan side. So you have the Upper East Side and the Upper West Side on each side of the Central Park. Right above it is going to be Harlem. I don't think most visitors to New York fully understand just how big this place is. It's 843 acres. There's a lot to see here. This park is home to artificial lakes, waterfalls, meadows, even wooded areas. You really feel like you're in the middle of the forest right here in Central Park at times.
How about an iconic Brooklyn Bridge experience when you come over here? So the Brooklyn Bridge is a hybrid cable suspension bridge that crosses the East River between Manhattan Island and Brooklyn towards Long Island. So the bridge was actually built in 1883 and nowadays people like to cross it or go under it. It is really an iconic landmark right next to the actual Manhattan Bridge. And there's an area right when you get over the bridge called Dumbo down under the Manhattan Bridge underpass. So people like to go over there. It's an area where they have bars and restaurants and cafes. So heading over to Brooklyn, checking out Dumbo and the area along the East River of Brooklyn. Uh, nice parks, basketball courts. Just hang out, chill out. Good place to be. And here we have a new area that's kind of come up on the list over the last few years known as Hudson Yards. They have the vessel and they have a really cool lookout deck that people are now starting to frequent and go to called The Edge. It's at 100 stories high. It's an observation deck. People do yoga and other activities up there. Great views, 360 degrees right around the deck of The Edge. So if you guys come over here, do come down to Hudson Yard and check out the edge and the vessel. We've also created a floating island, which uh, just now completed. And here's the deal, when you come to New York City, shopping is going to be something you've been told to do or maybe even want to do, but shopping Fifth Avenue might just be on the top of your list. Just to say you did it, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, but there's many different high-end retail stores right here along Fifth Avenue. You could see they've got it all. You name the, the name brand and it's right here on this here Fifth Avenue. Now when you head down to Lower Manhattan, you're gonna come into the area where you have the New York Stock Exchange, but also the Twin Towers. This is where the World Trade Center exists. Instead of two towers, it's now just one tower, but they have the monument here, they have the Oculus. This whole area is a place that you will want to at least check out when you come to New York City. Most of the World Trade Center area is going to be free. As you can see here, they do have the Oculus, which is an indoor mall area. 
but they also have an observation deck that you can go up to which you would actually have to pay for. Now around New York City they do have some beaches. One of the most famous beaches is going to be Coney Island. So there is a beach here. Most people don't really come here to swim though, they come for the rides. Many people know about the world famous Coney Island because this was really one of the top places people would go for amusement parks in early 1900s. Nowadays it's a bit old, it's a bit run down, but it is a historical part of Brooklyn and there are several beaches along this side of the coastline of Long Island, essentially. And if you come over here, you can get some food. Coney Island dog, that might just be what you're looking for. And when you come to New York City, you're going to want to check out all the many museums they have. They have the Museum of Modern Art, then they have the Art Museum over there in Central Park. They have the Brooklyn Museum. So many incredible museums. In fact, if you just type museum in New York City and you go by reviews, you can pick which ones you decide to see. And what would a trip to New York City be without taking in a Broadway show? Many different shows along Broadway. Here you can see all the variety of different shows listed. But they have the Radio City Music Hall and many other theaters where you can catch a good old-fashioned show. And there's so many different things you can do that we didn't even highlight, like go see a Yankees game, see a Giants game, a Mets game. So much to do across New York City. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing. We will see you guys on the next one.